sin c minus sin d is 2 cos c plus d by d into sin c minus d by 2. Divide both sides by delta x and taking limit on both sides as delta x tends to 0. Apply the limit, we will get the answer. Delta x tends to 0 sin of delta x by 2 divided by delta x by 2 is of the form sin theta by theta. So differentiation of tan x is secant square x and differentiation of cot x is equal to minus cosecant square x. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, faculty, Department of Mathematics, Vidashram Pew College, the temple of excellence. In my previous class, we have discussed it regarding differentiations of some trigonometrical functions using first principles. Now today also I will take uh, differentiations of all trigonometrical functions with respect to x from first principles and some standard functions like exponential functions, logarithmic functions, okay. Let me proceed with the first problem, differentiation of some important standard function from first principle. Let me start with the first function sin x. Now differentiate sin x with respect to x from first principles. So or by definition, as you know, let us consider, let us represent the given equation. Let y is equal to sin x. Let us represent this as equation number 1. Changing x to x plus delta x, y changes to y plus delta y. Changing, changing x to x plus delta x, y changes to y to y plus delta y. Just replace y by delta y and x by x plus delta x. So wherever y represent by y plus delta y, the small change y plus delta y and sin of x plus delta x. This is equation number 2. Now, 2 minus 1 gives, subtract these two equation. Now, equation 2 minus 1 gives, equation 2 minus 1 gives. Left hand side of equation 2 is y plus delta y. Left hand side of equation number 1 is also y. y plus delta y minus y is equal to. Right hand side we have sin of x plus delta x minus sin x. So, minus y plus y gets cancelled, delta y is equal to, if you observe carefully, this is of the form sin c minus sin d. What is the formula for sin c minus sin d? Now, we know that, so I will write here, since sin c minus sin d is also equal to, sin c minus sin d is equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin of c minus d by 2 sin c plus sin d is equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2. What is c here? c is equal to x plus delta x. What is d? x. So, c is equal to x plus delta x and d is equal to x. Now, let us come to this concept. Now, delta y is equal to 2 times cos of c plus d. c is x plus delta x plus x divided by 2 into sin of c minus d x plus delta x minus x divided by okay so sin c minus sin d is 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2 this is very very important step now therefore delta y is equal to 2 cos x plus x is 2x plus delta x divided by 2 into sin of minus x plus x gets cancelled what we have delta x by 2 now divide by delta x, divide by delta x on both sides. If you divide by delta x on both sides, then we can write this as delta y by delta x is equal to 2 times cos of 2x plus delta x by 2 into sin of delta x by 2 whole divided by delta x. Now let us take limit on both sides. So just Simplify, divide both sides by delta x. Now, taking limit on both sides, taking limit, taking limit, limits on both sides as delta x tends to 0. So, therefore, this left hand side becomes limit delta x tends to 0 of delta y by delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 of delta x tends to 0 of what we have 2 cos 2x plus delta x by 2. So, 2 cos 2x plus delta x by 2 into sin of delta x by 2 
4 divided by what we have delta x. Now, as you know, this limit delta x tends to 0, delta y by delta x is nothing but dy by dx or this can also be written as f dash of x. For this delta x, just multiply and divide by 2 in the denominator. So, this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. Now, apply the limit. Limit delta x tends to 0 of what we have cos of 2x plus delta x divided by 2 divided by 2 into limit delta x tends to 0 of the second factor. What we have here sin of delta x by 2 divided by delta x by 2. Now apply the limit for both the function. So this dy by dx f dash of x dy by dx is equal to cos of 2x plus put delta x is equal to 0 2x plus 0 divided by 2 into if you observe carefully this entire term this limit theta tends to limit x tends to 0 of sin delta x by 2 by delta x by 2 is of the form limit theta tends to 0 of sin theta by theta that is equal to 1. So this entire quantity is equal to 1. So the entire term is equal to 1. So therefore this can be written as cos of 2x plus 0 is 2x divided by 2. 2 2 gets cancelled this is equal to cos x. So therefore what is the conclusion? Therefore, d by dx of sin x, derivative of sin x is always equal to cos x, that is all. So, this is how we are going to differentiate sin x with respect to x from first principle. So, the very important step here is just sin c minus sin d, sin c minus sin d is equal to 2 cos c plus d by d into sin c minus d by 2. After simplifying, just divide both sides by delta x and taking limit on both sides as delta x tends to 0. Apply the limit, you will get the answer. That is it. Very simple concept. Very important for the point of examination. Now, let us come to a similar point, similar problem. Let me take one more example. Differentiate cos x with respect to x from first principle. Same procedure. Let us consider y. Let y is equal to cos x. Represent this as equation number 1. Changing x to x plus delta x, y to y plus delta y. We can write y plus delta y is equal to cos of x plus delta x. This is equation number 2. Now, 2 minus 1 gives 2 minus 1 left hand side what we have y plus delta y minus y is equal to cos of x plus delta x minus cos x. So, here minus y plus y gets cancelled delta y is equal to cos x plus delta x minus cos x. Now, this is of the form cos c minus cos d. What is c? c is equal to x plus delta x and d is equal to x. Now, apply cos c minus cos d divide both sides by delta x and take limit on both sides as delta x tends to 0. Simplify, you will get the answer. That is it. We know cos c minus cos d. So, cos c minus cos d, cos c minus cos d can also be written as minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin of c minus d by 2. This is the formula. What is cos c minus cos d? Cos c minus cos d is minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 into into sin c minus d by 2. Now, let us apply the formula for this. Now, delta y is equal to minus 2 sin. What is c here? This is c and this is d. c is equal to x plus delta x. x plus delta x plus x 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin of c minus d by 2. x plus delta x minus x divided by 2. So, here delta y is equal to minus 2 times sin of x plus x is 2x plus delta x by 2, 1 x and minus x gets cancelled, what we have sin of delta x by 2, okay. Now, divide throughout by delta x on both sides, divide by delta x on both sides. So, what happens this is delta y by delta x is equal to minus 2 times sin of 2x plus delta x by 2 into sin of delta x divided by 2. Now, taking limit on both sides as delta x tends to 0. Now, taking limit on both sides as delta x tends to 0. Now, left hand side we have limit delta x tends to 0 of delta y by delta x is equal to right hand side limit delta x tends to 0 of what we have minus 2 sin minus 2 sin 2x 
plus delta x by 2 into sine of delta x divided by 2 whole divided by delta x. So, here it is divided by delta x, okay. Minus 2 sin 2x plus delta x by 2 into sin delta x by 2 divided by delta x. So, the same step. Now, for this delta x, for this delta x multiply and divide by 2, 2 times. Now, this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. Apply the limit. As you know, the left hand side del d by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 of minus sin of 2x plus delta x by 2 into limit delta x tends to 0 of the second factor is sin delta x divided by 2 divided by this delta x by 2. Now, if you apply the limit, this is minus sin of 2x plus delta x is 0 into the value of sin theta by theta as since we know limit delta x tends to 0 of sin of delta x by 2 divided by delta x by 2 is of the form sin theta by theta that is equal to 1. So, this is equal to minus sin 2x plus 0 is 2x into 1, 2 2 gets cancelled minus sin x into 1 is sin x. So, the derivative of cos x is minus sin x. What is the conclusion for? Therefore, we can write d by dx of cos x is equal to minus sin x that is it. So, d by dx of cos x is equal to minus sin x. So, derivative of cos x is equal to minus sin x that is it. Hope you followed sin x is cos x, cos x is minus sin x. Take one more example differentiate tan x with respect to x from first principles. Now, same type let us write let y is equal to tan x. This is equation number 1 changing x to x plus delta x, y changes to y plus delta y is equal to tan of x plus delta x. This is equation number 2. Now, 2 minus 1 gives left hand side is y plus delta y minus y is equal to right hand side is tan of x plus delta x minus tan x. So, minus y plus y gets cancelled. Delta y is equal to tan x plus delta x minus tan x. Now, if you observe carefully, delta y is equal to tan of x plus delta x minus tan x. Now, for this, the very easiest method to simplify is, let us write tan as sin by cos, sin x plus delta x divided by cos of x plus delta x minus tan x is sin x divided by cos x. Now, let us take LCM and simplify, that is it. Now, delta y is equal to what is the LCM? The LCM is cos of x plus delta x into cos x plus multiplied sin of x plus delta x sin x plus delta x into cos x minus cos x plus delta x cos x plus delta x into sin x. Right. So, in the numerator if you observe carefully for a sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. See here sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So, the numerator is of the form sin a cos b minus cos a sin b is nothing but sin of a minus b, sin of a minus b, sin a minus b, sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So, Therefore, the numerator can be written as delta y is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b can be written as sin of a minus b. a is x plus delta x, b is x whole divided by the denominator is same cos of x plus delta x into cos x. Now, cancel minus x plus x. What is left over in the numerator? Delta y is equal to sin of delta x divided by the denominator is same cos of x plus delta x into cos x. Now, the next step is divide throughout by delta x on both sides and take a limit on both sides as delta x tends to 0 and simplify you will get the answer. That is it. Very simple. What is the important step here means tan can be written as sin by cos and take LCM. So, 
the numerator is of the form sin a cos b minus cos a sin b for that the formula is sin a minus b. So applying sin a minus b minus x plus x gets cancelled in the numerator you will get only delta x. So if you divide by delta x definitely it will reduces to sin theta by theta numerator becomes 1 and apply the limit we will get the answer that is it. Now let us go to the next step divide by divide by delta x on both sides. Then what we will get left hand side delta y by delta x is equal to in the numerator we have sin of delta x divided by delta x into denominator is same cos of x plus delta x into cos x. Okay, now taking limits on both sides, taking limit on both sides as delta x tends to 0. So, this becomes limit delta x tends to 0 of delta y by delta x is equal to apply the limit for right hand side also. Limit delta x tends to 0 of this sin delta x divided by delta x into this denominator 1 divided by cos of x plus delta x into cos x. Now this is nothing but limit delta x tends to delta x tends to 0 of delta y by delta x is dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 of sin theta by theta since limit delta x tends to 0 of sin delta x by delta x is of the form sin theta by theta that is equal to 1, 1 into this entire quantity becomes 1 into 1 by cos of put x is equal to delta x is equal to 0 cos of x plus 0 into cos x. Now what is this equal to 1 divided by x plus 0 is x cos x into cos x that is equal to 1 over cos into cos is cos square x. 1 over cos square x. Now what is 1 by cos theta? Secant theta. 1 by cos square is secant square. So 1 over cos square x is secant square x. So dy by dx is equal to secant square x. So what is the conclusion? dy by dx is equal to secant square x means what is y tan x. So d by dx of tan x is always equal to secant square dx. So this is very important formula and also a very important problem. So d by dx of tan x is equal to secant square x. Hope you followed. Okay. Now similarly for cot also, similarly for cot d by dx of cot x, differentiation of cot x is minus cosecant square x we will get. So differentiation of tan x is secant square x and differentiation of cot x is equal to minus cosecant square x. Now let us take secant x next. Now differentiate secant x with respect to x from first principle. Same procedure. Let us take let y is equal to y is equal to secant x. Then changing x to x plus delta y. Y plus delta y is equal to secant of x plus delta x. Now y plus delta y minus y can be written as secant of x plus delta x minus secant x. So, this minus y plus y gets cancelled. We can write delta y is equal to secant of x. Secant can also be written as 1 by cos, the reciprocal relation. 1 over cos x plus delta x minus 1 over cos x. Now, let us take LCM and simplify. So, delta y is equal to, what is LCM? LCM is cos of x plus delta x into cos x. Now cross multiplied. So this can be as cos x minus cos of x plus delta x. Right. Now if you observe carefully, the numerator is of the form cos c minus cos d. Apply the formula for cos c minus cos d and simplify. That is it. What is the formula for cos c minus cos d? Since we know cos c minus cos d is also equal to minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin of c minus d by 2. This is the formula. So just keep it in mind cos c minus cos d is equal to minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2. So therefore this delta y can be written as minus 2 times sin c x plus d is x plus delta x divided by 2 
into sine of c minus d. What is c x minus d is x plus delta x divided by 2 whole divided by divided by in the denominator we have cos x plus delta x into cos x denominator is very important. Now therefore this delta y is equal to in the numerator minus 2 sin x plus x x plus x is equal to 2x plus delta x by 2 into sin of just multiply by negative sign minus x minus delta x divided by 2 minus x and plus x gets cancelled okay divided by the denominator is same cos x plus delta x into cos x in the numerator x plus delta x is 2x x plus x is 2x plus delta x by 2 minus x plus x gets cancelled minus delta x by 2 we will get now i'll go to the next page so therefore delta y is equal to delta y is equal to minus of 2 times sin 2x plus delta x by 2 into sin of minus delta x by 2 whole divided by in the denominator we have cos of x plus delta x into cos x. Since we know sin of minus theta is also equal to minus sin theta sin of minus theta is equal to minus theta. So, sin of minus delta x by 2 is also equal to minus sin delta x by 2. This minus and minus becomes plus. Divide by delta x on both sides then we will get delta y by delta x is equal to this minus and minus becomes plus 2 times sin of 2x plus delta x by 2 into sin of minus becomes plus delta x by 2 whole divided by we will have delta x here and the denominator is cos of x plus delta x into cos x as it is. Now taking limit on both sides as delta x tends to 0. So limit delta x tends to 0 of delta y by delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 this. 2 times sin of 2x plus delta x by 2 divided by the denominator is same cos of x plus delta x into cos x. Yes, for this sin delta x by 2 divided by this delta x for this delta x just multiply and divide by 2. So, divide throughout by delta x then for this just delta x multiply and divide by 2. Now this 2 and 2 gets cancelled, this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. If you apply the limit left hand side delta y by delta x as delta x tends to 0 is dy by dx, dy by dx is equal to in the numerator apply the limit sin of 2x plus delta x is 0 divided by 2 whole divided by in the denominator what we have cos of x plus delta x is 0 into cos x into this sin delta x by 2 divided by delta x by 2 is equal to 1 because it is of the form sin theta by theta. Now here also 2 and 2 gets cancelled. You can write sin 2x plus 0 is 2x2 2, 2 gets cancelled. Sin x divided by cos x plus 0 is cos x into 1 by cos x. Now this can run as sin by cos is tan x, 1 by cos is secant x. So here dy by dx is equal to write secant x for secant x into tan x. So that means what is the conclusion for derivative of secant x is secant x into tan x that is it. So therefore dy dx of secant of x is equal to secant x into tan x very important formula indeed. So dy dx of secant x is secant x into tan x. Similarly so, similarly we can write similarly d by dx of cosecant x if you want cosecant x can also be written as minus cosecant x into cortex. Secant x is secant x tan x and d by dx of cosecant x is equal to minus cosecant x into cortex. d by dx of cosecant x is minus cosecant x into cortex we are going to get. That's it. 
this is how we are going to evaluate. We are going to differentiate the trigonometrical functions using first principles. So alternatively, you will get plus minus plus. So for d by dx of sin x, it is cos x. d by dx of cos x is minus sin x. Similarly, d by dx of tan x is secant square x. d by dx of cot x is minus cosecant square x. d by dx, differentiation of secant x is secant x tan x and differentiation of cosecant x is minus cosecant x into cot x. Okay. Now, these are very, very important formulas. Now, let us come to some exponential and logarithmic functions. Now, how to differentiate exponential and logarithmic functions using first principles? Now, let us come to the first problem. Differentiate e to the power of x with respect to x from first principles. Now, same procedure for this also. Let us consider y is equal to e to the power of x. Then, y plus delta y is equal to e to the power of x plus delta x. Now, equation 2 minus 1, y plus delta y minus y is equal to e to the power of x plus delta x minus e to the power of x. Now, using law of indices, a to the power of m plus n also equal to, can also be written as a to the power of m into a to the power of n. So, minus y plus y gets cancelled. Delta y is equal to e to the power of x into e to the power of delta x minus e power x. Okay. See, y plus delta y minus y is equal to e to the power of x plus delta x minus e power x. e to the power of x plus delta x can also be written as z to the power of x into e to the power of delta x minus e power x. You can take e power x common factor out. Delta y is equal to e to the power of x and what is left over is e raised to delta x minus 1. Divide throughout by delta x. Divide by delta x on both sides. So, what happened? Delta y by delta x is equal to e to the power of x into e power delta x minus 1 divided by delta x. Now, taking limit on both sides, taking limit on both sides as delta x tends to 0. Okay. So, then what happens? The left limit, left hand side limit delta x tends to 0 of delta y by delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 of what we have here e to the power of x into e to the power of delta x minus 1 divided by delta x. Okay. Now, here there is one formula for this you might have been studied in your uh, previous class or in the last class I explained one formula limit limit x tends to 0 of e to the power of x minus 1 by x is always equal to 1. So, limit x tends to 0 of e power x minus 1 by x is equal to 1. So, here similarly limit delta x tends to 0 of e to the power of delta x minus 1 by delta x. Instead of x, it is delta x. If x tends to 0, e power x minus 1 by x is equal to 1. If delta x tends to 0, e to the power of delta x minus 1 by delta x is always equal to 1, this is also equal to 1. So, therefore, this is e power x into limit of delta x tends to 0 of e to the power of delta x minus 1 by delta x e to the power of x into 1, this is equal to the e to the power of x. So, e raised to x minus delta e raised to x minus 1 by delta x as delta x tends to 0 is always equal to 1. So, therefore, e raised to x into 1 is e power x. That means dy by dx is equal to e to the power of x. That means, therefore, d by dx of e to the power of x is always equal to e to the power of x. So, derivative of e power of x is e power x itself. Okay. That is all regarding this problem. Now, let us come to the next problem. The next problem is logarithmic function. Differentiate log x with respect to x from first principles. So, this is also same. Now, for this, let us simplify. Let y is equal to log x to bc. Taking, yes, changing x to x plus delta x, y to y plus delta y, y plus delta y is equal to log of x plus delta x to bc. Now, y plus delta y minus y is equal to logarithm of x plus delta x minus log x to base. Now, minus y plus y gets cancelled. This is delta y is equal to 
so this is of the forum if you observe carefully this is of the forum log m minus log n what is the formula for log m minus log n log m by n so logarithm of m by n is also equal to log m minus log n so this is m and this is n this can be written as logarithm of x plus delta x divided by x okay or this can also be written as delta y is equal to logarithm of term by term division x by x plus delta x by x so this is delta y is equal to logarithm of 1 plus delta x by x now just divide throughout by delta x on both sides divide by delta x if you divide by delta x then what we will get delta y by delta x is equal to 1 over delta x into logarithm of 1 plus delta x divided by x taking limit on both sides so taking limit on both sides taking limit on both sides as delta x tends to 0 then this left hand side becomes limit delta x tends to 0 of delta y by delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 of what we have 1 over delta x 1 over delta x into logarithm of 1 plus delta x by x now very simple so if you apply delta x is equal to 0 0 into 1 by 0 is infinity into log that becomes infinite number now therefore limit delta x tends to 0 this left hand side is dy by dx as usual now the left hand right hand side is limit delta x tends to 0 of for this 1 by delta x just multiply and divide by x see x and x gets cancelled you will get 1 over delta x into log of 1 plus delta x by x now again there is one formula since logarithm of m to the power of n is also equal to n log m to base a this is dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 of this 1 over x as it is n log m can be written as logarithm of 1 plus delta x by x to the power of x by delta x now there is one very very important formula since limit delta x tends to 0 of logarithm of delta x tends to 0 of 0 of 1 plus delta x divided by x to the power of x by delta x is always equal to an exponential constant is equal to e so limit delta x tends to 0 of 1 plus delta x by x to the power of x by delta x is always equal to e so as we know there is one formula limit delta x tends to 0 1 plus delta x by x to the power of delta x is also equal to e or if you take substitution or you can also write if you put z is equal to this delta x by x then 1 over z reduces to x by delta x and whenever the substitutions are taken when delta x tends to 0 implies z also tends to 0 we can write limit z tends to 0 of 1 plus delta x by x is z to the power of 1 by z this is e straight away you can write limit delta x tends to 0 1 plus delta x by x to the power of x by delta x is always equal to e very important step so therefore if you apply the limit for this we are going to write limit delta x this is 1 over x as it is into logarithm as it is log to base as it is now 1 plus delta x to the power of x by delta x is always equal to e since you know this 1 over x into log of 1 plus delta x by x to the power of x by delta x is equal to e according to this now therefore log it since we know log e to base e is also equal to 1 so this is 1 over x into 1 is equal to 1 over x that's all so what is the conclusion therefore d by dx of therefore dy by dx is equal to 1 over x that means d by dx of log x to base e is always equal to 1 by x that is d by dx of 
log x is always equal to 1 by x. Very, very important problem. Differentiation of e power x is e power x. Differentiation of log x is 1 over x. So, the very important step is this is the very important step. Hope you followed. Now, let us come to the last problem in this session. Now, differentiate root x with respect to x from first principle. Any function can be differentiated using the first principle using the same procedure. Let me take this example. Now, what is given? Let y is equal to root x. Root x can be written as x to the power of 1 by 2. y plus delta y is equal to x plus delta x to the power of 1 by 2. Now, y plus delta y minus y is equal to x plus delta x to the power of 1 by 2 minus x to the power of 1 by 2 minus y plus y gets cancelled. Delta y is equal to x plus delta x all raised to 1 by 2 minus x to the power of 1 by 2 divide by delta x we will get delta y by delta x is equal to x plus delta x to the power of 1 by 2 minus x to the power of 1 by 2 divided by delta x taking limit on both sides limit delta x tends to 0 of delta y by delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 of numerator is same x plus delta x to the power of 1 by 2 minus x to the power of 1 by 2 divided by delta x. Here this can be evaluated left hand side as it is dy by dx as you know limit delta x tends to 0 of delta y by delta x is dy by dx on the right hand side what we have limit delta x tends to 0 of x plus delta x to the power of 1 by 2 minus x to the power of 1 by 2 divided by delta x. If you apply del limit delta x is equal to 0, 0 in the denominator by any number is infinite. So, for this just add and subtract x. x. If you add and subtract plus x minus x gets cancelled, you will get the same step. Now, this can be evaluated by the method of substitution. Now, let us take the substitution. Put put z is equal to x plus delta x. So, whenever substitutions are taken, when delta x tends to 0, when delta x tends to 0, this z is equal to x plus 0 is equal to x. So, z tends to x. Therefore, this limit converts to dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 converts to z tends to x. x plus delta x is nothing but z to the power of 1 by 2 minus x to the power of 1 by 2 divided by z minus x. So, if you observe carefully this is of the form limit x tends to a of x raised to n minus a raised to n by x minus a is equal to n a to the power of n minus 1. So, this is what is n half into x to the power of half minus 1. Limit z tends to x of z to the power of 1 by 2 minus x to the power of 1 by 2 by z minus x is nothing but x raised to n minus a raised to n by x minus a that is n a to the power of n minus 1 half into x to the power of half minus 1 take LCM 1 minus 2. This is half into x to the power of minus 1 by 2. Bring this minus 1 by 2 to the denominator 1 by 2 into bring this to the denominator x raised to half 1 over 2 into x raised to half can be written as root x. So, therefore, what is the conclusion? dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2 root x. 1 by 2 root x. So, therefore, the final step is d by dx of root x is 1 by 2 root x. That is all. Differentiation of root x is 1 over 2 root x. The very important step is take substitutions and simplify. So, therefore, I will write here conclude that therefore, d by dx of root x is always equal to 1 over 2 times the root x. That is all. This is how we are going to differentiate root x using first principle. Any function can be differentiated using the first principle using this method. That is all. So, in general, just by representing the given equation as y, changing x to x plus delta x, y changes to y plus delta y, subtract 2 minus 1 gives, you will get an equation and divide throughout by delta x and taking limit on both sides as delta x tends to 0 and simplify you will get the answer that is it. Hope you follow. So, this session is very very important definitely you will get one question from this 7 problems for the point of examination.
hope you follow just practice practice you will get a, an idea how to differentiate a function using first principle method so that's all regarding today's session thank you thank you very much